Hey, what's up guys? Mike at Red Fox here. In this video, I'm gonna share how I monitor the electricity that my miners are using. Okay, before we get into all of this, let me show you guys how I started monitoring the electricity of my miners, and I still use these today. So you're familiar with this. These are smart plugs, right? Pretty simple, allows you to remotely control an outlet. So for some reason, you need to turn your miner back on, maybe it crashed uh, or powered off. You can use these when you're away from home to do just that. So these are the two that I used in the beginning and I still use today, and I'll tell you just a little bit about them and then we'll get into what I'm doing now. So this is an iDevices, works with Apple HomeKit, and besides letting you uh, turn on and off an outlet remotely, the other thing it does is it will tell you how much wattage that outlet is using. And it'll do it for right now in that moment, and it'll also tell you the averages over a week, a month, a year. So really helpful for looking at how a rig is doing in, in, in its entirety, uh, and especially when you need to know that information later on when you're reporting your earnings, especially for me here in the US uh, during tax time. So that one is great, really like that one. The other one I have here is a Wemo Insight. And this does all of the same, but what's really great about this one specifically is it will email you monthly the amount of wattage that was used for whatever's been plugged in. So that is super helpful when you need to report your earnings in cryptocurrency, under taxes, um, and you can use your electricity when you do that. So something that's really important to know uh, with any smart switch is the amperage that it's rated at. So let me show you this Wemo one here. So if you look on, the, on any electrical um, smart outlet, you're gonna see its input there, you can see it. So it's rated for 120 volts at 15 amps, okay? So 15 amps is gonna be the minimum of what a standard electrical outlet will be rated for. And I'm not gonna go into how to calculate all of that now, but just know that if you plug too much stuff in to an outlet that isn't rated for it, you're gonna trip the breaker in your electrical panel and uh, could start an electrical fire as you overload the circuit. Um, these are both rated for 15 amps. This is what happens when you go over that. You melt it, so don't do what I did. Be careful. Be really careful with these because I've seen um, cheap ones on Amazon that are maybe only rated for 13 amps or 12 amps. You just, you, you cannot go over its rating. And in fact, the general rule for any continuous load in electricity is that you keep it at 80% of what its total capacity is. So be really safe with this stuff absolutely fantastic technology to allow you to remote control your rigs and monitor the electricity that's used but like anything with electricity can be dangerous if you're not doing the right thing so anyway i still use some of these today i got one hooked up there to my old pc which has my 5700 red devil in it sick looking card and i have that wemo insight plugged into this absolute mess over here. I'll talk about my plans for this. Um, that's on my 5700 and super rig, so I can control that. Okay, so that is what I've been doing historically. So let me show you what my next step was, and that was putting together this power meter. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you've seen this in action before. I love this thing. Uh, so this lets me monitor in real time. In this case, my test bench, that's the 3060 Ti, and this is my 1080. It's my first card I mined on right there. So this allows me to, in real time, see exactly how much wattage I'm using. So um, really good for a test bench setup, but also you can absolutely use that for a whole mining setup just to get a good sense of the electricity you're using. So really easy to put together. I'll leave a link to the video that I used to learn how to build that. Really cheap uh, and really, really cool. So I love that. Okay, that leads us to here. This is the latest. 
And you may have heard of this. This is uh, called Sense. And it's something that you install in your main electrical panel and it allows you to monitor the electricity of your entire, well, your entire panel, everything that's on. And you can see that is the wattage of my entire house right now. So this has been really cool, but it's been uh, kind of a miss with mining because it relies on things that turn on and off. And these don't do that, right? <laughs> they just keep going and going and going and going. So it has a hard time identifying them. So what Sense came out with is a specific um, adapter that you can plug in that just lets you monitor specific circuits. And that's what I put in the panel. So if you give me a minute, I'm gonna take the cover off and I'll show you what the Sense appliance looks like and I'll show you the additions that I just added to it and we'll talk about how that's really helpful for monitoring my electricity for mining. So give me one second. Okay, there it is. Got my main panel off. You're looking at my electrical 200 amp service in here. Um, and let me say this, if you don't know what you're doing, do not mess around in here. Call a certified qualified electrician to do anything in here, cause you can die. Okay, so looking at here is Sense. That's the box right there hooks up to a 20 amp right there, and then to your main lugs and your electrical panel, and that's how it monitors the electricity that's being used in your house. And its purpose is to learn devices that hook into your electrical in your house over time based on their unique electrical signal. It sources all that information from the community, and then will identify your washer, your refrigerator, your TV. And then it lets you see how much that's using. You set up automations for when it turns on and off, et cetera, et cetera. So a really cool tool. But it's never found my miners because they don't turn on and off. They're just, as you can see, they're just always on, right? They're always running. So it has a hard time picking them up and learning that. I mean, I don't even know what it would learn anyway from them. So what they just uh, came out with and I picked up is you can now monitor dedicated circuits. And that's what these two auxiliary clamps do. These are my two mining circuits right here, 220 amps. So I can hook those right up to there and then tell Sense to monitor them. Let me show you where those circuits run. So we're gonna go right over here. And that's where those 220 amp circuits are. And the only thing that's hooked up to them is these rigs. So then now I know exactly how much wattage is being used just from mining. So let me show you. So come over here to Sense, and this is the website, they have an app as well. You can see this is everything that's always on. You can see it found my TV, some lights, and then those are my two miners, right? And then let me go ahead and dive into this a little bit further. We're gonna go ahead and click on devices here. And you can see exactly how much my miners are using. So this one's over a little over 2000 watts, which I know is a little over the 80% rule, so I do have to shift some things around for that circuit. And this is my other uh, 20 amp circuit here that I think that's just one rig hitting almost 900 watts. So really, really cool. Honestly, like I can see exactly how much wattage these rigs are using. I don't have to rely on something like the smart switches there. Um, I absolutely could and plan to use this more and more but having this hooked up directly in my panel, I can um, get to its usage at any time via the website or the uh, app on my smartphone. I just, I don't know, it's really cool. I really like it. So that is what I'm doing now. That's my current electrical setup, but I do have some future plans here. So I've been getting by, I'm just running 20 amp circuits here. Um, and as you can see, that is a disaster and I need to clean all this up. And the reason that this happens is, you know, I got server PSUs and then regular ATX PSUs running on a lot of these rigs. And so, you know, I run those to a surge protector, which then I used to have that surge protector go into a smart outlet, but I can't fit them all in that setup there. Um, luckily, they're all really stable, so I don't really have a need for it. But what, what I really need to do is I need to have them all go into a PDU. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's a power distribution unit. Essentially, it's a, it's a big surge protector that will fit all of these miners and not get overloaded. 
And the reason it doesn't is because I need to get a 30 amp circuit. Ran, luckily, <laughs> super close, right? Lucky there. I need to get a 30 amp circuit, ran right there, plug a PDU into it, get all the necessary cables, and then just plug all these miners right in. And then when I do that, I'm also going to, going to get and install one of these meters, because why not? They're super cheap. I think this is like 20 bucks. I'll install that on the 30 amp circuit right there. So I'll have a constant live reading of the power that this is using, along with how much power it's using picked up by sense, which then I can monitor over time from anywhere. So that is my current electrical setup. Um, and as you guys know, if you are miners with any uh, multiples of rigs, the relationship a miner has with electricity is a very special one because it costs money to run this stuff. And if you're thinking about this as a business, you have to know when you're making profit, you have to know potentially what expenses to write off uh, during tax time. It's all really important stuff to know. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful for you in any way. I just, this has been my journey through this and I'm just really excited about where I've landed right now. I'm really excited about both uh, my test bench power meter and then my sense monitoring those circuits. So I would love to hear what you guys are doing in the comments section to monitor your electricity, to keep track of it. Uh, if there's anything else that you think would be helpful for, for me, I'd love to hear it. I hope in any small way this is helpful for you. Be careful with this stuff, really important. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's it. So as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe for more stuff like this. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.